In this video, we're going to show you how to install the CVT secondary speed sensor in your Nissan Rogue, located on the top side of your transmission. With the hood open, we're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench to kind of loosen this nut and disconnect the ground terminal off of our battery. And just go ahead and twist it off to the side. Using your 10 millimeter wrench, go ahead and loosen the nut on the positive terminal. Go ahead and twist that. Just gonna take a towel, set that right there. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter deep socket to loosen the nuts on our J hooks here. Go ahead and grab those threader rods, twist them, disconnect these here, and they're called a J rod because it has a J at the base. Once the two terminals and the bracket is removed, go ahead and grab your battery, remove that. Using a pair of pliers, I'm going to release these plastic clips holding the wire harness to the battery tray. Use a 13 millimeter socket and extension to remove the bolt for the battery tray. And there's one ground strap right here. Remove the ground strap bolt. On the back side, we have a bulkhead connector. I'm gonna use a small pocket screwdriver. And right in the very center, I'm gonna gently press down and lift up on this latch. That'll disconnect this harness. Using your trim tool, go ahead and pop the three plastic buttons holding the intake tube in place. Grab the air intake tube, pop this up and out. On this computer right here, there are three connections. I'm going to mark them one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and disconnect those there. The sensor is located here on the top rearward portion of the transmission. We're going to use our 10 millimeter socket to remove the bolt, disconnect the connector, and twist that out. All right, I was able to use pair of pliers here to go ahead and pinch the lock tab and release it and pull that sensor out. I'm going to go ahead and take the new sensor. I'm going to press that in, install the bolt, and then I reconnect the connector on the back side. With the sensor installed, I'm going to go ahead and install the bolt. I'm just going to work your hand down underneath this harness and underneath this heater hose. Use a quarter inch ratchet and a deep socket to go ahead and reach in there. Go 
Go ahead and snug that down. Once that bolt bottoms out, just give it probably another third of a turn. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you want to make sure that it is snug in position. Reach back down and grab that electrical connector. Line that up, push it on. You'll hear it and feel it snap into place. Go ahead and install the bolts to secure your battery tray. Don't forget the fifth bolt for the ground strap going to the battery tray. So there's a total of five bolts going in there. Before we secure this, we can go ahead, install our harnesses here. Line up the connector, push it in. And as you rock the cam down, it pulls the connector in and locks it in. Tighten down the bolts for the battery tray. You just want to make sure that these are nice and tight. Then we have the harness running along the back side. Go ahead and reinstall all of your little plastic locking retainer tabs. Go ahead and take your battery. Go ahead and line that up. We're going to take our J hooks here. Drop those down. We're going to line those up into the tray itself. What you're going to do is you're going to twist that rod so that that J hooks up, hooks up into the into the mount. Don't put your fingers on this when you're tightening it, but hold on the sides and we'll go ahead and snug this down evenly. I want to make sure that those are snug, but not enough to crush the battery. Go ahead and give that battery a wiggle. That's in there pretty good. Go ahead and take that positive terminal there. Make sure we're clean. Slide that back into place using your 10 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the knot. You don't want to over tighten this here. You can actually crush and ruin the terminal itself. So just make sure that's snug. Give that post a wiggle. Make sure that's nice and solid. Whip down the negative terminal. Hook up that wire and using our 10 millimeter wrench, go ahead and tighten down that nut. Be careful not to over tighten this. You can ruin the terminal. Go ahead and install your air intake tube. Once we have the back side installed into the air box, let's go ahead and install the plastic pins on the front side. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. 
Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.